This might be the first time we don't make it to our final destination. Ay, ay, ay. We should have taken the bus to Tirana, direct. My friend dropped off. On the side of the road. I don't know what's happening. It's not easy. Back to where we started. Getting around this country. So last time you guys saw us, we were spending three days in Bari, and right now we are still in Bari. But we're about to board the overnight ferry to Durazzo to Duras, Albania. And from there, we're gonna take a bus. Hopefully, it'll be seamless and go to the Albanian Riviera for at least two weeks. So, the first stop is Kepro. It should be beautiful. I'm looking forward to going back to Albania. I feel like we kind of cheated on it these last few days going <laughs> to Italy. I feel kind of bad. But I can't wait to go back. It's gonna be awesome. Yes. But the ferry ride, nah, probably not so awesome. <laughs> Let's go. It's part of it. It's part of it. Sorry, Shkipri. <laughs> we're coming back to you. We are all checked in in our very familiar ferry. We share our experience two videos ago. I'm going to link it here so you guys can check it out. So this time we learned our lessons. We came prepared. We have food. We're going to eat. We're going to go to sleep. And we're going to wake up in Shkipari. <laughs> Where we're supposed to be. We did with a long line, but that's okay. No rush today. That wasn't bad at all. For the third time, we are here in Duras. Now we have to figure out how we're gonna get to Gebaro because I don't think there are any direct buses. But we're gonna have breakfast before because we haven't eaten. Very nutritious. Cocoa is the vegetable, so we're all good. It doesn't feel super fresh though. <laughs> I just walked around the bus station to scout for buses that go to either Saranda or Viore, Flore, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, which is kind of close to where we need to go, but there are no buses to either of those places, so it seems like we have to go to Tirana, the capital city, which is out of the way, and then get a bus towards Saranda, and hopefully they will let us off early, or maybe there's a direct bus to Keparo. So far, it's getting a little bit complicated, but I guess first off, Tirana. Updates. We're going to Plepa. Not sure how we're going to Plepa, but Plepa is the station where they have a bus to Saranda. And hopefully if we take the bus to Saranda, we can get off halfway in Kepa. <laughs> first we go to Plepa. It's the first time we hear of Plepa. Hi, hi, hi. Yes. Plepa? Nice. Nice. Yeah, yes. We were not going to fit into that one. Someone has adopted us and they say five minutes for the next one. Let's hope it's true. I bet it's true. Hopefully it's less full. Fun travel day. Buses. Okay. So I said we have to take a bus to Tirana and I said wait on the bridge and stop them. <laughs> but I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna wait on a bridge. But the bridge starts back there. And it says there's just like a local bus and you stop them and go to Tirana. But I don't I don't know about that plan. Ay, ay, ay. We should have taken the bus to Tirana direct. Yeah. Back in the same bus. Back on the same bus. Where the it's not easy. Back to where we started. Getting around this country. Nope. That's where we started. 
At least it's just like a 75 cent detour. For both of us. For both of us. That's where we started. Two down now. <laughs> totally out of the way. Can I go to the radio launch? Good. Sarande. Six a.m. Uh, but from here to Borsch? Uh, oh, 6 a.m. A.m. A.m., okay. And from from Saranda to Capara? To Capara, I think a taxi, if you go today. Yeah, it's like an hour, or no? No, no, one no? hour. One hour. Should we just go? This might be the first time that we don't make it to our destination. We have a four o'clock bus to Saranda. Saranda is still one hour from Kepro. We're like passing Kepro. We don't know if we can get back because we're gonna get there at nine o'clock p.m. And then there's no buses anymore. And the, the last option will be a taxi, but it's probably going to be expensive. I think we're gonna sleep in Saranda. Albania, what the heck? <laughs> We are in the bus to Sarande. Honestly, we knew we were going to have our travel days here in Albania, but it has been crazy today and we didn't even have the plan to make a video. But we decided to make a video because this is crazy and if you're coming to Albania, you need to know how travel days look like and hopefully you can get some useful information out of this video. We're going to be in this bus for five hours, then we're going to get to Sarande at 9 p.m. And we don't know if we're going to be able to get to Kepardo tonight because Ubers, or I mean not Ubers, like taxis are going to be like 50 or 60 euros. Maybe we, ha we can find a hotel for cheaper than that. Stay tuned. We're making a quick stop. We asked the driver how long it would be and he said, so we're guessing enough to eat, but we're not really hungry. We're going to use the bathroom, enjoy the fresh air, the views outside are beautiful, the bus is extremely hot. So it feels nice to just be outside and just like feel the breeze. We have two and a half hours left. And we have an Airbnb for tonight. Things are looking up. We have officially made it to somewhere. We are in Saranda and this is where we're going to sleep tonight. I don't even know what's happening right now. Like it feels like we left Italy this morning, but we didn't leave Italy this morning. And it feels like we've been all over Albania, but we haven't been all over Albania. I haven't eaten in like 48 hours. Wait a person this morning. We're three minutes from the Airbnb. Yes, it's better nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We found a place to eat. I said we hadn't eaten in 48 hours, which sounds weird because we just came from Italy, so we totally have eaten, but not much today. I already stole some bites, so I needed some energy to say something to you guys. We're all checked in our Airbnb. I can't wait to go home and shower and jump into bed, but it's still gonna be a short night because we have to be up at like six because our bus leaves at seven to Keparo, as apparently how you call it. We've been calling it Keparo. That's not right, it's Keparo. So we'll finally end up at our destination tomorrow morning. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. See you tomorrow. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Is this the end of the video? No. <laughs> see you tomorrow.
Thankfully, we're only two minutes away from the bus station. Hopefully, the 7 a.m. bus is there waiting for us, and we go to our new home. Que paro. Watch it behind you. We're gonna do it. It's happening. We are finally on our way to Kepro. After 36 hours, we're going to reach our final destination. <laughs> I think just one hour and 15 minutes on this bus, and then we'll be there. We will make it. We've been dropped off. On the side of the road. I don't know what's happening. I expected more of like a town. Oh, that feels like a village. Yeah. This is safe. No, it's not safe. So she crossed the street. Ready? It's official, we have finally made it to Gepardo. It feels great to have an apartment for the next five nights here. We have a pet cat, which is kind of exciting too. Come check out our place. We walk in and we have the kitchen, mini fridge, hot water boiler, which is huge <laughs> because we have a French press so we can make coffee for ourselves in the morning and survive. We just made coffee. I think fully stocked for cooking, so we can also make the orecchiette or 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 that we brought from Bari. And then this is our bedroom. We have the sleeping bed. And we have the working bed. <laughs> There's also outside a bed to, to lay on. A TV, closet, our stuff is on the floor. Behind you is Le Toilette. And the best part about this place is right behind Aymara. Beautiful views of the Ionian Sea. Oh, it's so bright. Look at that. The water is so clear. It's Amazing. I hope we'll have some good sunsets from out here. And a quick update on the town of Keparo. It is a lot smaller than I expected it to be, so I can understand why there weren't buses here from either Duras or Tirana, and why it was so complicated to get here. It's beautiful, very, very beautiful, but very, very quiet. <laughs> it's a village. It's a village. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this exhausting travel adventure. In the next couple of hours, we're gonna try and figure out what we can actually do in Keparo. There's no car rentals. There's no ATMs, it's a very small little village, so we have to figure out what we can show you. But either way, it should be pretty exciting. There's like beautiful beaches in the area. I just don't know if we can get to them, but either way, stay tuned. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to see Kepro in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.